गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे विल डिस्कस इंसेक्ट्स ऑफ मेडिकल इंपॉर्टेंस फर्स्ट इंसेक्ट इज वार्बल फ्लाई दैट इज हाइपोडर्मा लाइनेटम क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ वार्बल फ्लाई इज फाइलम आर्थ्रोपोडा क्लास इंसेक्टा ऑर्डर डिप्ट्रा बिकॉज इट हैज गॉट टू विंग्स ओनली राइट सो इट इज बिलोंगिंग टू द ऑर्डर डिप्ट्रा two wings they are modified halters which are used for balancing the fly lays egg on the four legs of large animals the eggs they hatch within a week and penetrate the skin where they migrate throughout the connective tissue or to the esophagus after a few months the larva travel back to the skin surface and cause swellings called warbles that is why it is known as warble fly they remain under the skin and when destroyed by pressure the larva can cause large purulent swelling or anaphylaxis upon emergence the fly leaves hole in the skin large number of such punctures can render cattle hides valueless the migrating larva can cause damage to the meat as the tunnels they make in the muscle fill with a substance known as butcher's jelly infestation also hinder weight gain and growth in the animals milk yields may also decline so here you can see the life cycle of warble fly on the cattle the fly it lays the eggs on the hind leg then the eggs they penetrate into the skin as larva the larva they will feed upon the connective tissue and meat of the cattle and it reduces the growth of the cattle as well as milk yield will decline then they will change into the pupal stage and the adult it will emerge so it leads to the formation of warbles or the swellings on the skin before the emergence so warble fly is most infectious in adult cows but with the time the immunity develops skin damage is most common but spinal paralysis choke from the esophagus inflammation generalized illness from the mass migration of larvae and anaphylactic reaction can also occur so adult warble flies they are large hairy bumble bee like and brown orange or yellow in color the adults have vestigial mouth parts so they cannot feed during their short life span which can be as little as 5 days now coming to the con control of the warble fly systematic insecticides like organophosphorus compounds they are used then is systematic organophosphorus insecticides that control cattle grubs on a large scale then avermectins has ability to kill the migrating larvae so basically the insecticide which is used it is avermectins for the warble fly so this is regarding the first insect that is warble fly now coming to the second insect second insect is the poultry louse that is menopon that is galeni so classification of this individual it includes phylum arthropoda class insecta order pithyraptera family menoponidae louse commonly found on domesticated chicken and guinea fowl their common name the shaft louse is given due to their habit of resting on the feather shafts when undisturbed when disturbed the lice of these species 
will quickly run onto the body to avoid the threat. The lice in the family Menopoidin D, due to their ability to feed on the blood, are often the first parasite found on the birds, especially the birds with nudifagus youngs. The primary effects of lice on these hosts are the irritation they cause. The birds become restless and do not feed or sleep well. They may injure themselves or damage their feathers by pecking or scratching area irritated by the lice. Body weight and egg production may drop. All lice infecting poultry and birds are the chewing type. The mites may be confused with lice but mites suck the blood. In general, each species of lice is confined to a particular kind of poultry although some may pass from one kind to another when birds are closely associated. All live continuously on the feathered host and soon die if removed. The eggs are attached to the feathers. Young lice resemble adult except in color and size. In journal, the incubation period of lice egg is 4 to 7 days and the development of lice between hatching and adult stage requires about 21 days. Mating takes place on the fowl egg. Fowl and the egg laying begins two to three days after the lice it matures. The number of eggs probably range from 50 to 300 per female louse. It has a habit of resting on the body feather. Shafts of chicken where it may be seen running rapidly towards the body. When the feathers are parted suddenly, sometimes as many as dozen lice may be seen scurrying down a feather shaft. Since the shaft louse apparently feed on parts of the feathers, it is found in limited numbers on turkeys, guinea fowl and duck kept in close association with chicken. It does not infest young birds until they become well feathered. Now control solution of permethrin when sprayed on the bird will eliminate all lice that infest the birds. It is more important to apply the insecticide directly on the bird's body rather than the premises. So the control measure is with permethrin. So in this way we can control the poultry louse. Next individual is hematopinus erythrostrainus that is short nosed sucking louse of cattle. So regarding classification again phylum arthropoda class insecta order pithreoptera suborder ano Pleura. The anopleura are all blood feeding that is ectoparasite of mammals. They can cause localized skin irritation and the vectors of several blood borne diseases. Children appear particularly susceptible to attracting lice possibly due to their fine hair. Longer hair coats, cooler skin and environmental temperature and confinement aids in propagation of lice during the winter. So lice are host specific spending their entire life cycle on the host. Moreover, each species of louse has a favorite location on the host body. Sunlight and heat are great deterrent to reproduction and survival of the lice. Thus, shorter hair coat 
exposure to direct sunlight and high environmental temperature in summer tend to depress the louse population naturally age specific resistance does not appear significant in cattle in response to louse infestation biting lice feed on skin debris prefer the dorsum and flank region sucking lice prefer the head neck withers axillae and ventrum however when louse populations are extensive the parasite can be found anywhere on the body lice as a true of many parasite are likely to have greatest negative effect on animals subjected to poor poor nutrition systemic illness overcrowding and other stresses all of which may be more common in calves so control measure they are treated with chloripyrifos for the control of heavy infestation of short nosed cattle louse so normally 15 ml does ban 44 per cow so this is the quantity which is used and the treatment is with chlorpyrifos so in this way we can control the short nosed sucking louse of cattle so these are the three